What the hell was that? Where is it? Where's the Blackberry? I'm making it! You're lying! It's a very delicate reaction. You're saving it all for the bobbies! <laughs> This better work on Spud. Oh no. No. She broke my brain. It's not possible. We sent them all away. They never came back. It's a, it's a rat. I'm hallucinating, and it's a rat, and it's gonna bite me. You can't be a baby. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. We better get Spud out of here. You'd think a junkie would weigh a bit less, wouldn't you? Oh, and of course, there's the blower. I hope Gwen's all right. in a bucket. There, there. Shh. It's okay. The bad man is asleep. He won't bother you anymore. Oh, you've got a poopy nappy, don't you? Let's go get you a nice clean one. I'll need to filter some water. I shouldn't have left it alone. I better turn down the heat. Brilliant. They all want Blackberry Joy. Spock couldn't have shown up at all. Who is it now? Hello in there! Is there anyone in there? Constable! Whatever brings you here? Someone seems to have bashed your front door in, Mom. Terrible, isn't it? I forgot my key and I had to sort of bash my way in. I've had reports, Mom. All sorts of people come into your door. Amazing, isn't it? So many people get lost these days and they keep asking me for directions. You're not selling illicit substances, are you? You mean aside from Blackberry Joy? To the constabulary? Oh. Are you... Sally Boyle? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's stupid of me. I'm so sorry to have been a botherer. I, I know a terribly good joiner. I'll send him round, fix that door up for you. No need, Constable. But you're very sweet. I'll just, uh... I'll be on my way, Mum. Cheery bye. Thank you. 
Try not to poop again until I get a new nappy on you, okay? Oh, you can't be serious. Hello, Miss Boyle. Just wondering if you were uh, planning to, to, to drop by the, um, the, the, the old neighborhood anytime soon. We all miss you. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm just in the middle of um, cooking, though. No. I'll get on the blower and let everyone know. As soon as it's ready. Promise. Oh, she's probably hungry by now. I should have fed her before I started the reaction. No, 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 they can't all be broken. No, this was enough milk for a month. Fuck the bucket. Oh, I better go cut her down. I can't think when she's crying like that. There, there, baby. Everything's gonna be okay. Mummy promises. Thing is, Mummy doesn't know how she's gonna feed you. Did you know that? And if she doesn't figure it out, Baby is gonna starve to death. Is mummy the worst mummy ever? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Lionel. Wait. Lionel might have tinned milk. He has a bit of everything. Listen, darling. Mummy's gonna go and see Lionel. Try not to cry too much till mommy comes back. Okay? Please? Mommy will be back with supper as soon as she possibly can. Is this the post box I did? Lovely day for it. Couldn't be better, thanks. All right. Please have ten milk, Lionel. Lovely. Please. Sally Boyle! I'm afraid I haven't got anything new or fashionable for a mod girl like yourself. Everything I've got's as old as me. <laughs> oh, Lionel. You've never felt old to me. I need some tin milk for something I'm brewing. Oh, well, uh... uh the, 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 the trade from over the bridge, well, all, all we seem to have at the moment is a few tins of leftovers from the war, and they're practically collector's items. Pricey. Oh, I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. Is there anything we could trade? Not unless you're willing to go over to the garden district. <laughs> Why not? A girl like you? Some of the wastrels out there. there there's rumours of cannibals, devil worshippers. Q-jumpers! It's sweet that you're looking out for me. Well, some time ago, Uncle Jack made a record album. Uncle Jack Sings. And I got a collector who's dying to have it. 
Now, I know there's a bunch of Uncle Jack fans who have a sort of compound on Eel Pie. If anyone's got the album, it's them. Bring me that, and I'll give you all the tin milk I have. All right. I'll see what I can find. What's your pleasure, then? That's a bit out of fashion. Uncle Jack Records. Jesus Christ. Gwen's life is hanging on Uncle Jack Records. Not that Lionel knows that. Thank God. Damn it. I better go home and get my garden district dry. Can't walk around there in the latest Davy Hackney. It gets so resentful. Your grandmum didn't leave me a nun. I never stopped wondering. Now why everyone but me? Didn't she care what happened to me? Going.
One of these days, Gwen, I'm going to teach you all about chemical interactions. They're so much more reliable than boys. Hello. Are you a friend of Uncle Jack? Of course. Who isn't? You'd be surprised. Some people seem to think that because we're out here in the Garden District, we have to abandon all pretense of civilization. We can't take joy, but that doesn't mean we can't see the world the way Uncle Jack does, right? It's just a question of concentration. Oh, yes. In fact, Uncle Jack has heard of you. He's heard of us? You can't be serious. Is he going to talk to us on the TV? Oh, but we never get the new programs out here. What did he say? How do you know? Why don't you ask him? He's coming to visit. He wants to do a live broadcast from here. He's coming here? But the place is a mess. We have to clean up. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle Jack's coming. That's the spirit. Let's Uncle Jack's show Uncle Jack just Uncle how much coming. we love him. Uncle Jack's coming. Hey. It's a terrible way to die. Could be worse. It's too late to say you're sorry. How would he know? Why should he care? I'm... <coughs> Oh, Gwen, you'd never believe the day Mummy's had. Get 
long, you bastard! Lionel can make some sort of automatic baby feeder for me. Huh. Then I will. Sounds a bit. Huh. Hard hearted, doesn't it, Gwen? Huh. But Mummy's trying to save our lives. Fire! Talking to on all the telephones. Where did you bring us here? I wanted you all to see what bravery looks like. We have to take them home. At least they tried to destroy the birth records. At least they tried. And the rest of the town hanged them on this bridge. Are they just going to leave those people hanging there till they rot? It's medieval. Oh, I wish I was half as brave as Tommy Cramner and the Lushfords. Hello. Let's have a look at you. Shall we? You're in tip top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the garden. Sorry, mustache. Right as rain, right as rain. What can I do for you today? 
Sally Boyle! I hope you find me Uncle Jack record. Me borrower's been pestering me. I have indeed. You're a brillo! Milk you shall have! Lionel, you're sort of handy, aren't you? Well, I do like to tinker. You'd be amazed at the state of some of these things when they come into the shop. Can't sell them if I can't fix them. I have some designs for some apparatuses. Some sort of uh, water feeder for birds? Oh, heavens no. I can't stand the crows. It's for my flowers. Mustn't over water, but I keep forgetting to water it all. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, well, let me see what I got in the back there. I, I, I bet I can find all the pieces sooner or later. <laughs> they, they, they never show up right away, but they always show up sooner or later. Uh, check back in a bit. Lovely weather. Lovely day for it. There you are. Righto. Look who's in a hurry. Last one smiling is a rotten egg. Who's there? No need to get excited. Oh, the it. one with the blood on the legs. I'll fix you. Long. Lovely day indeed, Bob. How have you been? Lovely day for it. Darling, baby milk, you won't believe what Mummy had to do to get this for you. Well, I'll never tell you, frankly. Who's at the bloody door now? Sorry to bother you, ma'am. The lads is, uh... Wondering if you've got any blackberry ready for him. Oh, I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. The lads is getting a mite twitchy, to tell you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station, so you can explain yourself to them precisely. I don't understand the worry. Haven't I always provided you with Blackberry? I just had a little hiccup in the lab. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you lads are lonely. That ain't quite true though, Mum, is it? You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. We don't imagine that Lionel Kashia is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. 
See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. And you've been roaming around the Golden District doing Lord knows what. Yes, well, I, uh... Blackberry's made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp? Two visits in the last week? I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Not at all. I was visiting the General. He also gets quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he... Uh, well, yes, yes, of course he would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the General now, can we, lads? Ha! Uh, uh, of course he would. Nonetheless, Miss Boyle, the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. We must insist that you devote your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Or we shall be compelled, willing or no, to provide your assistance, willing or no, to Dr. Verloc. And that won't be cheery for either of us. I guess I can't blame them for being antsy. It's not fun going off Blackberry. And if they go back on regular joy, they'll get the cramps and they won't even remember why. Thank God I'm almost done with this new batch. Nice guy. Cheer up! You did it! You can't deny it! Right! That's it! You can't hide from me! That's it! 